From the moment we are born, we are drawn to animals. Like us, they embody the wonder of experience of life on Earth. We need only to look to children to see that it is in our very nature to be kind to animals. As a society, we cherish our pets and abhor cruelty. When we watch animals express joy, we share their joy. And when they feel pain, we wince at their suffering. By and large, we are compassionate people. Yet all around us, hidden from our view, is an animal welfare disaster of a magnitude this planet has never known. Most animals raised into human care today, millions upon millions, are living lives of abject misery in factory farms. How could a compassionate society ever have agreed to this? The truth is, we didn't. I had thought that the law protected all animals from cruelty. I'd thought so too. But then I learned I was wrong. Many people assume that it was learning about Australia's live export trade that changed my career path from being a police officer to an animal advocate. But it was actually in discovering that the simple joys in life that we take for granted, freedom, sunshine, fresh air and exercise have been denied to millions of living beings in human care and that we had failed in our most basic ethical duty towards them to provide them with a life worth living. I couldn't believe that I had lived 40 years of my life without knowing what was happening to these animals and then I realised we're not supposed to know because these industries can only exist if they're hidden from public view. For every human being on planet Earth, there are up to 10 times as many animals raised for human consumption every year. Most people only ever encounter them in the form of neatly packaged products on supermarket shelves. But these animals live somewhere. Where have they been hidden? The answer, of course, is factory farms. Thousands of them. These are highly intelligent creatures who feel pain and who will respond to kindness and affection if given the chance. These animals are no different to our pets at home. I can't believe in this day and age millions of hens are still confined to cages with no quality of life whatsoever. I was shocked to learn that it's legal to keep mother pigs practically immobilised in factory farms. They can't even turn around. It's like waking up each day just to suffer. And then the first time that they ever get to see the outside world, the world that they were meant to live in, is the last day of their lives as they're trucked off to slaughter. Humanity has shown itself capable of such greatness. If you look back at what we as a species have achieved, it is phenomenal. But along the way, some of us have forgotten to treat those who share this world with us kindly. Over the past 50 years, the industrialisation of farming has led to millions of animals raised for food being treated as mere units in a production line. To make them fit into cruel and unnatural systems, factory farmers routinely cut bits and pieces off live baby animals without anaesthetic. Severely confined, all of their natural behaviours that bring joy and quality of life are denied. Producing factory farmed animal products en masse has led to cheaper prices, increased demand and more and more animal suffering. The consumers were never told that cheaper means crueler and that animals have been paying a terrible price. That animals have, in fact, been brought into this world only to suffer. But the cost of factory farming extends far beyond animals. According to the UN, 
Raising animals for food contributes more to climate change than all of the world's planes, trains and automobiles combined. Not to mention contributing to water pollution, species extinction and almost every other major environmental threat. The reality is, factory farms use more food than they produce, which leaves less food for everyone else. At a time when globally nearly one billion people are suffering from malnutrition, one third of the world's edible cereal harvest is being fed to farm animals. That cereal would be enough to feed about three billion people. Around the world, consumer choice is driving change.